Hi everybody, Broken Eves here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video, I'm going to set up my little personal farm on Farm Sim 17 on MX Linux, and we'll get it all set up and done, so we're good to go. I'll be um, playing four main games on Linux Mint. This is going to be one of them because it gives me many, many happy hours of pleasure. I'm going to delete that one. So I've got the community farm that me and friends play on. And I'm going to have a personal farm as well. And it's going to be the old family farm, 2017 edition. Got to have a green shirt as we're on the Linux Mint. Um, I'm going to select all of these except seasons uh, because I want a nice, easy, personal farm that I can potter on <coughs> um, and set up and enjoy in 2024 now i do have all iterations of this game but i just cannot fall in love with farm sim 19 or 22 i love both 15 and 17 17 for me personally is the perfect iteration of it mm. and that's interesting uh because the audio is coming out of the monitor when I have told it to put the audio through the headphones. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, so, for argument's sake, if we go to sound settings, you see that it's on an analog pro. And yet, the sound output... Front, left, oh. front, right. Okay, so now it is, apparently. Well, let's find out. Interesting, isn't it? No, wrong one. Chab. Yep, now we've got the audio. Well, that's bizarre. That is absolutely bizarre. Anyway, uh, I digress. So the first thing I want to do is literally flog everything. Uh, and we're going to set up our own personal little Massey Ferguson farm. And we're going to use all Massey equipment. Uh, why the hell not? Why not, indeed? Uh, I think we only start off on this farm with one field. I love this farm very, very much as a personal little waste of time farm. It's fantastic. And you start off with a metric arse ton. Uh, of bloody stuff uh, it's mad it really is so let's get all this crap sold and then we'll replace it and buy our own crap <laughs> mm. well gotta be done uh, we'll also start off loan free as well uh, in that we'll be paying off the loan wow we will have to sell in all this crap jeez Jeez, how much crap can you give me when I'm starting a map? Starting a farm. Uh, of course, we can always build up to all of that. So we've got 618,000, oh my word. Uh, okay, let's get buying. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is buy uh, a couple of tractors. And we're going to go for the little base masses. I love the little masses. We'll have the all-wheel drive. Um we want the front weights on. Uh, we don't want a swinging draw bar. We want to pick up hitch. And we'll go ahead and buy two of those. To start us off with. Wow, have we got some purchasing to do. Well, we'll see how much we've got left by the time we've done it all. I guess. So there's our combine. We need a header. We should have Massey Ferguson header, I believe, yep. Uh, so we'll go ahead and buy that as well. <coughs> um, now, we also need a tipper, so we'll go ahead and buy the little Massey tipper. Yes, please. Thank you. I've got to bring all this stuff back to the farm, so this is going to be fun. But nevertheless, it's got to be done. Uh, mm, that wants 88, whereas that only wants 30. 
Uh, so we'll buy the Lemkin one, even though I really wanted the Massey Ferguson one, but the little Massey Ferguson tractors that we've got are just not going to be powerful enough. 25 horsepower to pull that 88. So again, we'll buy uh, uh, some of the non-Massey stuff just to get us started. And then we'll work up to the Massey Ferguson stuff as we get uh, better tractors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, um, so, uh, fertilizer spreader, we can buy the Massey Ferguson one, that's fine. Let's get that done. This is all being made and played on oh, the Linux Mint, by the way. Manure spreaders, nope. Weeders, mowers, yeah, we want a mower, uh, but we'll go for the old coon mower which I know can be a bit of a pain in the backside, but as we've only got um, smaller tractors, uh, the wind rower will have the wind rower as well, because that will be useful. And again, these only require 25 brake horse. Uh, loading wagons will go ahead and buy the butcher, and we'll see how much money we end up with. As you can see, we're already making a serious dent um, in our money but we do want all this kit we're going to have our own personal farm of farms uh, yep yeah, we want a baler as well uh, we also need a chainsaw uh, let's go for the red one for a change lovely beautiful um, what else do we need uh, do I need a fuel tank? I don't need a fuel tank on this farm, do I? I don't think, if I remember right. I do need um, a pressure washer so that we can clean the vehicles down. Not the best place to put the pressure washer, that, to be honest. But nevertheless, uh, I think we're about set up. Oh, we want a corner header, don't we? So let's go ahead and just buy the cheap one. Uh, we'll have it dull red to match the masses. Why not? And I think we're about done. Uh, I dread to think of the amount of kit we've got to go and fetch. Yeah, here's our beautiful little massy tractors. Not sure we're going to be able to tow this. Uh, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to be all right. Okay, let's save that away uh, with the initial save. Um, we also want to repay the loan so we can see exactly what money we've got left. Because uh, you start out in easy mode with a 50 grand loan. We'll save that away. So we've now got no loan. Uh, um, but we have only got one field. I know what that is. Thinking you. Uh, so we do need to buy some fields. So this is our field here. But of course needs harvesting already. Um, and the idea really is to try and do as much as we possibly can ourselves without hiring workers. Uh, Probably hire workers for some of the more mundane stuff. Okay, we'll leave that free. We'll buy this field here. Uh, and these, these fields are all ridiculously cheap. So we'll buy that one. And we'll buy this one here, which is ready for harvesting. So we've basically got three fields to enjoy from the get-go. Uh, okay, um, we'll save that away. Okay, so we now own three fields on the farm. Uh, we want to put that back to real time. Uh, this is my first gaming video on Linux Mint on the, uh, the gaming PC, so it'd be interesting to see uh, what the recorded quality is like. I'm sure it'll be amazing. 
uh, I have every face in Linux Mint. Okay, so here's our plow. Uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing we need to do. We need to set up... Um, so plant growth, fast withering off, periodic plowing on. Uh, traffic off, we don't need traffic. Dirt fast. Uh, and that should be good to go. So that's the settings that we're going to run with. And many happy hours on the farm. We shall enjoy. Don't worry about that. Yeah, they all need ploughing. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so... Here's our little plough, which these tractors should be able to handle uh, just fine. Mm. It might miss bits in the field, uh, but nevertheless, we'll live with it. Um, we do have <coughs> seasons that we could add later on if we really want to um, up the ante. But nevertheless, as I say, with our other farm, it's fantastic fun. Um, and I do play that farm with friends. Uh, it's an online farm. Uh, whereas this one is specifically uh, uh, offline. Just for yours truly. Uh, to waste his life away on. Uh, so this initial video is basically just me carting all the stuff to the farm and getting set up and getting ready. Oh, uh, we could do with some chimkins actually. But this is 17 so I can't, unlike 15, I can't just buy chimkins and add them. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to buy them and go and fetch them from the livestock place which we can... Oh get done really didn't want to do that oh well let's hope that gets fixed for the next episode <laughs> as Ebes drives around trashing the map we'll mop all these icons up oh thank you love these little massive Ferguson tractors they are amazing real old school tractors without looking silly beautifully modeled and rendered absolutely gorgeous uh, and cheap to run as well so great for when you're just starting out getting on your feet and really help you set your farm up we've not really got any issues to be honest uh, and we could buy these we could buy just all the fields <laughs> Uh, but we won't. We'll stick with these three for a start. Uh, there are fields down the bottom as well that we can add and work on. It is a small map. It's a very... Uh, it's a beautiful map, to be honest. I love it. It's one of my favourite all-time personal maps. It's not a massive farm. Um, you know, you won't need huge combines with huge headers and massive trailers. It's a personal little farm. It's kind of your dream farm, really. <coughs> uh, nevertheless, there is still a button of work that's required to be done on the farm, from grass mowing to God knows what. Uh, we'll get the farm tidied up ship shape and um, Bristol fashion. Another question mark here. Let's run this chab over. There we go, vehicle shot. Okay. Just want to clear these all up so they don't keep appearing. You can switch that off as a setting uh, in the settings. Okay, let's go and get this filled it up. I don't know what we're going <coughs> to um, seed to start with. Uh, this is from the Classics Farm Pack, the seeder. And the beauty of 17 is it doesn't matter how big or small it is because if you hire a worker, 
and set it to auto buy it will always keep it full whereas on 15 you couldn't do that <coughs> uh, you had to forever fill the thing up um, so this is really rather nice it means that you can set a worker going it also means that once you've filled your cedar and your fertiliser up uh, there's no need to ever refill it it will auto refill there you go drop that there beautiful okay let's go get our fertiliser or whatever the next bit of kit is I uh, hope you're going to enjoy the series um, I may well decide on the farming videos to start reading through some of the viewer con comments while I'm farming um, because I think that way it will give you if you're not interested in the farming videos it will give you a nice backdrop to listening to me discuss, berate, respond to your guys and girls comments so I think that would be pretty cool uh, so we'll see how that goes um, people keep asking me when I'm going to live stream again well at the minute I've got no plans to live stream uh, <clears throat> due to my current medical condition and everything else um, I'm more comfortable oh really that's not even full yet I'm more comfortable making videos to be honest oh that's not going to suffice is it ah uh, that's interesting ok so that's not going to cut it at all um, so I need to get rid of that and add the uh, classic one so we'll sell that um, we'll add the classic one um, that one the Amazon surprised that that's way too big and heavy for this little tractor but it is uh, again it doesn't really matter because it's on auto buy auto refill so the size of it really doesn't matter at all uh, we do have weights on the front to counterbalance it that's there so let's go and pick that one up um, so yeah I'm much more comfortable doing videos uh, you don't need to see um, a webcam image of me because uh, it would literally put you off for life just saying uh, that's much better um, so yeah I'm happy doing videos and doing my YouTube content that way rather than live streaming that's not to say that at some stage in the future if I feel uh, recovered enough and confident enough to go on a live stream then I'm you know it's possible I might I may live stream in the future but at this moment in time I have no plans to I'm very very happy with doing the video content uh, why have I come here when this is said fertilizer I believe yeah thought so okay so we've got the cedar we've got the fertilizer we've got the chimpkins out they've come to see us we're going to run them over how kind of us uh, okay let's go and fetch one more item and then we'll switch to the other tractor And we'll bring the combine. Uh, I suppose we could jump in the combine and get that running. Uh, as we've got plenty of dollar. I guess. Good morning. How are you, my darling? Little Hopey Popey come to see me. My little dog. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, but then again, we are going to do all uh, the harvest in ourselves. So, actually... Uh, I'll leave that for another video I'm guessing ok let's pick the mower up we'll take the mower back 
and we'll leave it attached to this tractor. I don't know whether to add a third tractor or not. What do you think? Uh, might be useful. I do love these little masses. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, that's the other problem you have with strokes. Um, memory. <laughs> or lack of. Just saying. Uh, I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, I just want to, while I remember... Uh, give a massive shout out and thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support. I am absolutely loving being Windows free, 100% Windows free. Um, I've been on MX Linux since last November and we're now in April of 2024. Uh, I'm very, very happy. I have absolutely no designs, desires or plans to go back to Microsoft Windows uh, when Linux is this good and Linux is on the rise, be under no illusions it really is on the rise which is great great news for desktop Linux I'm absolutely loving it I hope you guys and girls are loving your Linux I hope you're loving uh, being Windows free don't forget I'm not only using it for gaming, but for everyday use. And, of course, as a full media centre. So I consume all my news, all my videos, uh, all my movies, all box sets. I use it literally for everything. Uh, and I do the lot all on one PC. Uh, life sports, everything. And it's brilliant. It's wonderful. It's amazing. I don't know what else there is to say, really. Other than... Um, absolutely amazing. I'm sure that was a cat. There's a dog there. Look, uh, you got to love these farms, didn't you? You've just got to love them. Uh, so, I'm going to put this tether up in here. Uh, because I want to put the forager in here as well. So we've kind of got a mowing shed. We've got a tractor with a mower. We've got a tetherer. And we'll put the forager in there. There's the dog. <laughs> There's a cat around here somewhere. Uh, okay, let's go and fetch the baler. Because we want to put the baler in there. So we've kind of got a mowing and foraging shed. Uh, and then a main farm shed. <sighs> I must disable that uh, steam overlay. So annoying. Oh yeah, we've got the trailer as well. Well, we'll find a different spot for the trailer. Um, I could do with three tractors actually, that would be the perfect ideal. One for mowing, and two for farm working. They're not expensive are they, so let's go ahead uh, and add a third tractor. Um, that's an all wheel drive. Uh, whereas that one isn't, we could use that one for mowing, couldn't we? Oh, let's just buy an all wheel drive, it's easier, isn't it? Pick up hitch, and we want front weights, nice. We only get a choice of, uh, well, let's give this one red wheels. I don't know what this is going to look like, probably horrendous. Uh, but anyway, uh, I quite like the, uh, the pressed steel wheels on them. Okay, let's go and get this away in the uh, baler shed. And then we'll fetch the rest of the uh, we'll fetch the rest of the kit back to the farm and we'll be set up and ready to go 
for the next episode where we can actually start and do some farming um, there's the dog happy to see us of course uh, hmm, shame I put that tether on smack in the middle I don't know if I can fit the baler in actually I might be able to uh, there's the mower see if we can get the baler in here as well because it would be really useful to uh, have it all in a single shed uh, as you can see my reversing is terrible too bloody close. Rast. Jeez. Right, Reginald Mole shoving and shunting. There we go. So there's the baler in. That's nice. So what we'll do is leave this one into shed. Oh, actually, we could go and attach this one to the trailer uh, uh, ready to sell said crop uh, we've got looks like we've got two crops ready for harvesting yeah so we'll start harvesting those in the next episode okay uh, oh we could go and pick this up, I guess. <coughs> uh, I thought that might pick up, but apparently not. Apparently it's very facet where it will pick up. Really? Really? Wow, you've literally got to be right on top of it. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, we'll get this in the field ready for the next episode to start harvested do love all of this Massey Ferguson kit I have to say ok so that's ready uh, this can go in the baling mowing shed. Shame there's no tow bar on it, but there's not. It's our little forager. This is what we use to pick up everything from grass to straw to all sorts of shenanigans. And again, this is part of the classic pack. It just saves towing a trailer. It's very cool. It doesn't have a massive capacity. Uh, like what some of the trailers do but nevertheless it's very very fun to use uh, and as I say it just completes your initial line up to run and manage your farm gotta love it in you just gotta love it Okay, so we've got the mower, the baler, the forager and the tetherer all in this shed here. There we go. Beautiful. And we're done. 
Okay, so I'm going to carry on getting the rest of the kit back on the farm. Oh, the red wheels look quite nice, actually. <laughs> Not bad. Massy red. Beautiful. Oh, we've only got the trailer to do. Uh, and then I need to go and uh, take the header to the farm. Nice. Oh, well, actually, that works. I quite like the red wheels. It works. So there you go everybody, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up, or down. Uh, I'm going to save that, I might use that as a thumbnail actually. Beautiful. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.